Welcome to Guitar Gallery. Uh, we're going to do another review. It's Stefan and Stefan, and we've got a Martin Triple L18 uh, for you today, which is quite a popular guitar, especially in the States. And maybe just to tell you what this guitar is all about, we've got a Sitka spruce top, um, mahogany back and sides, and uh, obviously mahogany neck, open gear Grover tuners, and then the ebony uh, bridge, and also the ebony fretboard it's got the daughter shell uh, binding and then inside you've got the uh, standard uh, no it's the standard x bracing scalloped yes um, so obviously that will help you with a balance sound as well as some bass response yeah. uh, with a scallop combination there <laughs> and um, I think you know Stefan <laughs> I've been reading up in uh, triple O versus OM what's the difference and I'm gonna try and explain it in a very <laughs> simple way <laughs> is um, body shape is exactly the same so there's no difference but normally what the, the main difference is is that on the om you've got the uh, the longer scale length which is the 25.4 yeah. and then on the uh, triple o you've got the uh, 24.9 and now what that does is with a longer neck you'll have more tension on the strings a bit more com a compressed sound so you can strum it a little bit louder and then on the triple o 18 with a shorter scale what you'll find is the strings less tension so you can bend it a little bit easier you know typically for your blues and and, yeah. and, and finger style a little and looser sound, a little looser it sound. so it's got that typical shorter scale yeah. sound <laughs> um but that's the main difference between it in, in in theory uh stefan you've played this guitar what did you experience when playing this guitar definitely the well i was very excited to do the review on this because uh the triple 18 as you said is a very popular model and i can i can definitely you we can hear why um, what I like about the this is the this is the short scale model being the triple O, and what I like about the feel of the whole thing, obviously the whole neck being a little bit shorter because of the scale length, the frets are almost uh, they they're also a little bit closer to each other, mm. combined with a little bit less tension on the strings. You can really dig in with your right hand if you really you can really t get some good power out of them. While on the left hand, it's so comfortable, as you said. Um, it's it's easier to bend uh, when you play some open tunings even, and um, it adapts well to an array of playing styles uh, we just discussed it that this guitar it's got a mahogany body construction it's a medium bodied guitar or a small to medium bodied, uh, bodied guitar it's got the mahogany body construction mm. which gives you all the uh, b low end response and the mid range response coupled with a spruce top which gives you that shimmering high end mm. uh, being an om it's relative it's 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 balanced, but having the scalloped X bracing, it's got all that power. Mm. So all those factors combining, it's such a versatile instrument. And it's really, um, we said last week on another guitar that some of these guitars are so energy efficient. It feels, especially with this one, it feels to me like you can put so little energy in and you get mm. so much out. Mm. So it's a beautiful instrument to play. It's an inspirational instrument, definitely. It's a, it's a wonderful instrument to play. Well, you're Morgany <laughs> man, so uh, a, a, little bit bit, a little bit biased. Uh, <laughs> in this guitar um, but you know if you really want to experience this guitar uh, nothing better than than uh, to come over visit us um, and play and, and feel and I, I promise you this smells amazing <laughs> <laughs> you have to smell it that, uh, it will seal the deal um, but that's the best and we're looking forward to meet you and thank you for your time bye bye